This year's Tucson International Jewish Film Festival is bringing 15 full-length films and four shorts from around the world to our local screens. And we have the opportunity to see them. Monique Steinberg and Katie Spector with the Jewish Film Festival are joining us now with more about what we can expect to see. It's great to have you back. It's wonderful to be here. It sounds like you had a very busy weekend. Let's talk about kind of the big picture of this festival. What is the vision behind it? Well, we want to show films that people wouldn't ordinarily see. And they're all interesting. It's just amazing, the interest span. But we want the quality films and films you wouldn't normally see. Mm -hmm. And also Jewish communities that people might not traditionally know about. So we want to talk yes. about Ethiopia and Ghana and Denmark and not the traditional American Judaism or Israel Judaism. We kind of want to expand on that and show how diverse Judaism is. Mm -hmm. right. And of course, because we're taking a look at places that we're not exposed to all the time, I'm sure audiences are going to be very surprised by what they see in some of these films. You know, the most amazing thing is that sometimes we're surprised, people on committee. We watch these films that are incredible, the information they give out. One of the films that we're going to show is Who Will Write Our History? And it was produced by Nancy Spielberg, Stephen's sister. And it's about what happened in the Polish ghetto mm -hmm. during World War II. They thought that certainly the Nazis were going to win the war. And they wanted the world to know who Jews really were, not who the Nazis depicted them to be. Mm -hmm. It was a story we had never heard about, and it's fascinating. And you don't have to um, be Jewish to see these. You don't have to have a knowledge of the religion. And so it is an expansion on people's minds. And I'm sure you get that reaction from people who go to see some of the films. For sure, we get a lot of, oh, I didn't know about that, because we hear about the Holocaust. And we nice. show a few Holocaust films, but we want to expand on that and show you know, what was Jewish life like right. now? What was Jewish life back then? Mm -hmm. And expand on that. And people are people. Mm -hmm. So right. even if the story is about a Jewish person or something that happened, it's still about humanity. Mm -hmm. And everybody can uh, relate to that. It's, and it can Absolutely. be moving. Right? Oh, oh, so, so moving. moving. And you know, we have some films that are a little tough, but people walk out and it's they, we have a little um, slip where they can tell us what they thought. And it's excellent, 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 because they're done so well. And that means you did a good job of picking the films too. So you mentioned one that you that you highlighted here. Tell me about the other one with Paul Rudd, because that's oh, that's be a good catcher was a spy. Oh mm -hmm. yes. So it's about Mo Berg, and he was a catcher for Major League Baseball, and he ended up he knew seven languages, and he ends up going to be a spy and going to Japan and spying for World War II. Oh my and gosh. And he was a brilliant man. He spoke seven languages. He just, he was, he had gone to college, of course. He had gone to, um, was it Columbia? Columbia Law, Law School. Columbia Law School. And he just decided, he had always wanted to be a baseball player. Mm. So he just decided that's what he was going to do. And the really funny thing about this is before we saw the feature film, we had found the documentary about him, which is, if you can believe it, even more fascinating. So we're thinking about maybe, maybe including it next year. We didn't want too many docs. Mm -hmm. And you have other ones too. Talk about some of the other movies that you know that people need to experience. Maybe outside the comfort zone mm -hmm. or what they're used oh, to. Definitely. Types of films. Mm -hmm. Well, we have um, The Tobacconist. Mm -hmm. And it's about how a young, innocent man is sent to work in a tobacco store in Austria. Uh, and while he's there, he meets one of the customers who's Sigmund Freud. And this beautiful relationship that develops between them and how that relationship allowed this young man to become a man with mm -hmm. convictions and beliefs. And it's, it's an extremely touching film. Yeah, you know, we're in award season right now, and people are focusing on these big films, these big commercial mm -hmm. uh, movies, but we really have to slow down a second and, and really see the quality of films that are out there uh, in festivals like this. Really quickly, tell us what venues, or just a couple examples of venues where people can watch these films. So previously we had shown at the Loft and at Saddlebrook and Green Valley. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to be all shown at the J at River and Dodge. Okay. And so we'd love to see people there. Oh, good. All right. 
Excellent to know. Just at the J, it makes it easy. Yeah. Everybody can just go there and enjoy the film. Yes. We're really excited for this festival. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you, you for you having so us. Much. This year's Tucson International Jewish Film Festival is happening now until January 20th. For more info on the films, visit TIJFF.org or call 520-299-3000.